to the exciting world of MTH electric trains, where your miniature trains are major fun machines. Full-size trains are among the most powerful machines you'll ever see, blasting down the main line at 60 miles an hour, hauling millions of pounds of freight in strings of cars two miles long. Model railroading brings this power and speed into your living room. Model trains can provide hours of fun with roaring engines, blaring whistles, and billowing smoke. Building a model railroad is an adventure that never ends because your imagination will always see new things to add to your empire. And with the incredible variety of products now available to O-Gage Railroaders, there has never been a better time to enter the hobby. The fun lasts a lifetime, and MTH Electric Trains makes it easy to get started with model trains. Over the next half hour, we'll show you how to get started in model railroading, what your choices are, and how you can expand a new or existing model railroad with MTH Electric Trains. If you're watching this video on a DVD, you can also check out exciting bonus features by returning to the main menu. There, you will find the quick start videos which we include with every MTH Rail King ready to run train set and the MTH Digital Command System. Those videos will show you how easy these sets and command control systems are to set up and operate. Inside each set is a loop of real track snap together track, a remote control power pack, a locomotive with digital sound, several detailed freight or passenger cars, and a track planning CD-ROM to help you map out the next step for your railroad. Sets are popular holiday gifts, and the first layout for many modelers is a train around the tree or a decorative holiday village. A simple set can wrap around a tree or with a few added straight tracks and accessories can make an exciting railroad on the floor. Larger Rail King scale locomotives operate on slightly broader curves, but on the same width O-gauge track as their smaller traditional size cousins found inside Rail King ready-to-run train sets. These scale locomotives are prototypically sized for O-scale modeling at 148th to the foot. The next step up is to our premier line of locomotives. These locomotives have additional detail and realistic lighting effects. Premier Line locomotives are scale-proportioned O-gauge locomotives and will bring you even closer to simulating real-life locomotives on a model railroad. Regardless of whether you choose Rail King Rugged Rails, Rail King Scale, or the MTH Premier Line, each of these engines can operate on any O-gauge track system and work with any AC output model railroad transformer. At MTH, we don't limit our roster of motive power to just O-gauge. Outdoor railroaders will find just what you're looking for in our Rail King one gauge products. Accurately scaled at 132nd proportions, Rail King one gauge locomotives are bringing new and innovative features to the world of outdoor railroading. MTH Electric Trains got its start more than 20 years ago when we began creating reproductions of the original all-metal trains that were produced in the earliest days of model railroading. Typically referred to as tin plate trains, these colorful heavy locomotives and cars run on a larger track called standard gauge. Today, MTH is again introducing thousands of model railroad fans to tin plate with our tin plate traditions product line. Like our other locomotives, our tin plate recreations feature the latest state-of-the-art technology for an operating experience you will thoroughly enjoy. No matter what MTH locomotive you start with, it is just the first step on an exciting journey. It's the first step in the fun of building your own railroad world, where you control not just the power and action of swift locomotives, but where you are also the master of the landscape, buildings, and operations around them. Model railroading puts you in charge. Engines are the heart and soul of railroading. Without locomotives, a railroad can't do its job of moving goods from place to place. Locomotives are just as important on your layout, since they are the source of the action that provides the fun of model railroading. No matter what product line you choose, every MTH locomotive is available with features and functions unmatched by any model railroading manufacturer today. Let's take a look at what makes an MTH engine the best value in model railroading. Steam locomotives are very animated machines. 
If you have ever seen a real iron horse belching smoke and hissing steam as they chuck over the rails, you may have experienced the feeling of excitement of watching a machine that seems ferociously alive. At MTH, the advanced features found inside our locomotives recreate that excitement and brings your layout alive. In 2000, we unveiled our first locomotives equipped with ProtoSound 2.0. This digital sound and locomotive control system has completely changed the way model railroaders run trains. Its patented design seamlessly integrates sound and function to create an unmatched operating experience. Since the release of ProtoSound 2.0, no other model train manufacturer has come close to duplicating the operating sophistication of an MTH locomotive. Inside each ProtoSound 2.0 equipped locomotive are hundreds of features and sounds. But what truly distinguishes a ProtoSound 2.0 locomotive from its competitors is the smooth, realistic, slow speed control provided by the ProtoSpeed control feature. Speed control allows a locomotive to maintain whatever speed you want. Simply set the transformer throttle where you wish and watch the engine maintain its speed through curves, up and down grades, even when picking up or dropping off cars. Best of all, it's found in virtually every MTH locomotive, even those in the Rail King Rugged Rail lineup. That's right, a $199 rugged rail steam locomotive has the same electronics inside, allowing it to possess more performance features than those found in $1,500 locomotives like this one from another popular manufacturer. DCS, because it's a software-based system, unlike the other systems that are available, is expandable in every sense the way your computer is expandable. Features can be added and are added from release to release that enhance the software and enhance the performance of the locomotive. No other manufacturer brings this level of performance to you in an inexpensive starter set. In fact, no other manufacturer can equal the slow speed performance of an MTH engine, even with additional command control equipment. You can take any MTH PS2 engine with um, any power pack that's on the market. When you put that on the track, you're going to get super slow starts, super slow stops, and you'll be able to maintain the exact speed of that engine anywhere on your layout, regardless of grade or track work. I can't tell you how many times um, after running a PS2 locomotive, I put another engine on the track only to find out that it was uh, had a very herky-jerky type motion, which isn't a great testament to my track work, but getting so used to MTH PS2 locomotives, um, this is the type of thing that really is, I think, leading the industry today. Thanks to the patented ProtoSpeed control, every ProtoSound 2.0 locomotive can enjoy sophisticated digital sounds timed to the movement of the locomotive. Note how the steam exhaust chuff and the puffing smoke is directly timed with the movement of the drive wheels. For every wheel revolution, the chuff sound and puff of smoke occurs twice. And with our optional digital command system, which we will show you later on, you can adjust those chuffs and puffs up to 16 for wheel revolution. Real diesel locomotives are mandated by law to display warning lights as well as horns. Many Premier Line ProtoSound 2.0 diesel engines include features like flashing ditch lights, in addition to their normal complement of operating marker lights, lighted number boards, directional headlights, and cab interior lights. No special equipment or procedures are required to activate these features. You simply put the engine on the track and watch the action. Every MTH ProtoSound 2.0 locomotive includes operating couplers. These couplers can be opened anywhere on your layout without special track sections or extra equipment. Using the transformer's whistle and bell buttons, you can open the coupler anywhere on your layout. We've even included special sounds to simulate the clank of the coupler pin and whoosh of the air hoses breaking apart. No other manufacturer gives you the power of remote uncoupling anywhere on the layout without having to add additional equipment. 
Because ProtoSound 2.0 locomotives are compatible with most AC transformers, you can use those transformers equipped with whistle and bell buttons to activate certain features. One of the most popular is ProtoSound 2.0's Proto Effects. These special sound effects recreate the action of a freight yard or the sounds of a passenger locomotive arriving and departing a station. of MTH's acclaimed subway sets have long marveled at the station stop sequences included in each of these unique O-Gage models. Only MTH produces O-Gage subway cars and only MTH provides you with the ability to program the subway set to stop at each station automatically and play its station stop proto effects. No additional equipment or modifications to the layout are required. Infusing our locomotives with state-of-the-art technology won't ensure a superior operating experience if the engine is poorly designed. At MTH, we design our locomotives for the long haul with a modular chassis design that is easy to service. One-piece boilers and bodies with quick-connect wire harness connectors help prevent wire pinching and make light bulb replacement easy. Only ProtoSound 2.0 equipped locomotives include a self-charging battery backup system designed to play sounds and continue operating during power interruptions caused by changing directions, dirty track, or switches. The battery backup provides a level of performance unmatched in other locomotives equipped with electronic or older mechanical reversing units. The battery continues to provide power to the ProtoSound 2.0 electronics when short power interruptions occur, like those you might encounter on dirty track or on a switch. Here's an example. We've placed several small pieces of tape on the center rail of these tracks to simulate some really dirty track. Both tracks are set up exactly the same. When a competitor's locomotive encounters the simulated dirty track, the engine drops into neutral and stops. But the MTH loco with its ProtoSound 2.0 electronics keeps moving because the battery backup allows the system to ignore those short power interruptions. Because the ProtoSound 2.0 system includes a built-in recharging circuit, your battery will automatically charge whenever you run it. For added convenience, most ProtoSound 2.0 locomotives also include an external charging port, allowing you to recharge the battery when the locomotive is not on the track. Once you settle on your locomotive choice, you'll need to add track to your layout. If you started out with a Rail King ready to run train set, the oval of Real Tracks track is a great way to start. MTH Real Tracks makes track laying a snap, literally. Real Tracks has a realistic plastic roadbed attached and the pieces snap together easily. A loop of track can be assembled in minutes, while a more complex track plan might take a half hour. With Real Tracks, you can start running trains quickly and enjoy the new sidings, yards, and branches you just snapped onto your layout. Best of all, Real Tracks is a complete track line with every component you need to build a full-fledged model railroad layout. If you are looking for even more realism, MTH's Scale Tracks track system may be the choice for you.
Like real tracks, scale tracks features an easy to connect system and solid nickel silver rails, but features a lower rail profile for a more scale appearance. Unlike real tracks, no built in roadbed is included, allowing you to finish off this important level of detail. Like real tracks, scale tracks is a complete track system with prototypical switch configurations for intricate and authentic track designs. Regardless of which MTH O gauge track system you choose, bringing your track design from concept to finish is even easier with MTH's Railware CD ROM. The interactive Railware CD ROM that comes with all Rail King train sets and locomotives includes track planning software. With this software, you can design your layout on a computer, trying different arrangements of Rail tracks, Rail King accessories, and Rail Town buildings. The software has library menus listing all of the different types of track, accessories, and buildings MTH makes. When you find the right combination, you can print out your track plan and a required list of items, making for a quick and easy shopping trip at your local MTH authorized retailer. Now that you've seen the latest in motive power and track systems, the next step in creating your own model railroad empire is choosing a power source. Transformers are the power packs that take household current and bring it down to a safe voltage level for running model trains. Transformers range in power from the 50 to 100 watt basic transformers that often come with ready to run sets to the 400 watt MTH Z4000 transformer, the most powerful model railroading transformer ever to receive the UL listing. The smaller transformers are known as bricks meaning that the transformer is housed in a black plastic block with a wire extending from each end. One wire plugs into the wall, the other wire plugs into a controller. The larger transformers, like the Z4000, have separate controls for two different tracks and fixed voltage outputs for operating accessory control too. Which transformer you need depends upon the size and activity of your planned layout. The 50 to 75 watt transformers are ideal for running only one loop of track and one train. They generally work well for beginners. However, if you plan to build up your layout quickly to pull long, heavy trains, operate multiple loops or track blocks, or use many accessories, you might choose to operate with one of the more powerful options or with a combination of smaller power sources. Your local MTH authorized retailer can help you assess your needs for your particular layout. Today's model railroading hobby is as state-of-the-art as computer games thanks to sophisticated control systems like MTH's Digital Command System or DCS. This highly advanced remote control system provides you with individual control over command-equipped locomotives, operating accessories, and track switches. Its simple hookup and intuitive interface will have you running trains in just a few short minutes in ways you might have never imagined. No matter the make or vintage of your locomotives and accessories, DCS can operate them. It also works with just about every type of transformer currently available, so there's nothing extra to buy. But before we reveal some of the incredible features of DCS, it's important to note the differences in model railroad operation today. For most of the past 100 years, a model railroad was controlled by varying the power from the transformer to the track. The more power applied by the transformer, the faster the train on the track travels. If more than one train is on the track, all of the trains will respond to the voltage changes, but they may not run together. This method of operating a model railroad is typically called conventional control and does not allow you to individually control a specific train on the track. In recent years, new technology has been developed that allows you to individually control a specific locomotive without affecting the performance of other locomotives on the same track. This type of operation is called command control and works by sending a digital signal to each train equipped with a special receiver circuit board. MTH locomotives equipped with ProtoSound 2.0 already have the DCS command control receiver built in. They're all set to operate in command mode when you use the DCS equipment. The DCS system consists of two primary components, a handheld remote control 
and a track interface unit or TIU. The remote control sends operating instructions to the TIU and the TIU converts those instructions to digital code and sends them to a ProtoSound 2.0 locomotive through the track rails. Because the TIU relays the digital signal through the track rails, the TIU must be connected to both the transformer and the track. Clearly marked input and output channels make the hookup simple. Four channels are available on each TIU, which is enough to handle almost any small or moderate sized layout. DCS is capable of controlling up to five TIUs, so even the largest model railroad can be controlled with this incredible system. Once hooked up, we're ready to power up the TIU and the remote and start running trains. I found the uh, initial hookup, the out-of-the-box to my layout, uh, it took me about 10 minutes. Setting up my DCS system was easy. I mean, there was, there was nothing to it. Uh, you know, I'm not the most technical guy in the world, to tell you the truth. And, uh, you know, you start, when you hear about new things like this, it's a little bit some daunting experience. But it was ridiculously simple. Because DCS has hundreds of operating features, attempting to demonstrate all of them in this video would result in a double-length feature film. Instead, we'll show you just how easy DCS is to use. If you're watching this video on a DVD player, you can learn more about DCS's specific functions and how they operate by viewing the DCS Quick Start video. We'll start by powering up the track layout and the TIU. Notice, however, that the ProtoSound 2.0 equipped locomotive didn't start up even though the track is clearly powered up. This happens because the transformer is sending power through the TIU before it gets to the track. The TIU sends a digital signal mixed into the power. That signal alerts every ProtoSound 2.0 locomotive on the track that you're operating in command mode. When in command mode, ProtoSound 2.0 locomotives will ignore any conventional mode instructions. DCS is the only command control system available today that utilizes two-way communication between ProtoSound 2.0 locomotives and the remote control. Not only does DCS talk to ProtoSound 2.0 engines, but the locomotives themselves communicate back to the remote. This patented feature ensures that you never need remember a locomotive's name or address since DCS handles these tasks for you. After powering up the remote, adding a new engine is done with a setup screen. DCS automatically searches your layout for any ProtoSound 2.0 locomotive not already added to the remote. When it finds one, it automatically retrieves the name and address programmed into the engine at the MTH factory and inserts the data into the engine list in the remote's memory. Once the ProtoSound 2.0 locomotive has been added, you can start it up by pressing the startup button. Repeat this procedure for every other ProtoSound 2.0 engine you wish to add into the remote. You only have to add a specific engine one time. The remote will remember the engine every time you use DCS in the future. When using DCS, once you add, a, add the locomotive into the remote, that's it. You really don't need anything else. Whereas other manufacturers, you have to assign a locomotive a number. You have to keep track of the numbers, keep it on a piece of paper, keep it in a book, keep it somewhere. If you lose those numbers, you're in trouble. Now that we've started up the locomotive, operation using the DCS remote is a snap. The remote's large LCD screen provides valuable information during your operating session, eliminating the need to remember arcane operating commands. You can see the name of your locomotive beneath the current speed of the locomotive. Since our locomotive hasn't yet begun moving, the LCD shows that the engine is moving at zero scale miles per hour. Using the large thumb wheel in the center of the remote, you can start the engine moving by turning the wheel. As you turn the thumb wheel, you'll see the speed increase on the remote's LCD screen. The maximum speed for any ProtoSound 2.0 loco is 120 scale miles per hour, which means you have 120 speed steps available for operation. Right out of the box, most engines can run smoothly at speeds as slow as 3 or 4 scale miles per hour. The DCS remote has 32 buttons providing access to hundreds of features. Many are self-explanatory, like the bell and whistle buttons. Virtually every operating feature has been thought of by DCS's designers. 
If you want to turn off the smoke or the sound, you can do it with just the push of a button. Other buttons activate the remotely controlled protocouplers. Because we are operating in command mode, you can run multiple command engines on the same track. By using the remote, you can select other command equipped engines to operate. Simply using the throttle wheel, you can scroll through the list of locomotives you added to the remote. When you find the one you want to operate, select it by pushing down on the thumb wheel. Once you select another engine, it appears in the LCD window. DCS unlocks dozens of additional features inside a ProtoSound 2.0 equipped locomotive. Let's take a look at three of the most unique features that create a truly interactive relationship between you and the locomotive. Every ProtoSound 2.0 locomotive includes cab chatter sounds, which lets you listen in on the crew aboard the locomotive as they get instructions from the dispatcher. We've got a highball signal and a good steaming S2. Okay, we're going to get down the line. When you use DCS, you can become the dispatcher yourself by using the Proto Dispatch feature. Pressing the mic button on the remote and speaking into the microphone located at the top of the remote allows you to broadcast your voice through the locomotive speaker. Amtrak Cardinal ready to depart Zanesville for Charlestown, Martinburg, Wheeling and all points west. All aboard! The ProtoCast feature allows you to play sounds or music directly through the locomotive speakers. Any audio source like a CD or cassette player can be connected to the TIU using a standard 1 8 inch mini to mini cable. Once the audio source is connected, push the ProtoCast button to override the locomotive sounds and begin playing your favorite songs and music. You can even record your own sound effects into the TIU using an external microphone and play them back later. DCS is so advanced, you can even record an operating session and play it back later. When you're in the record mode, every button push on the DCS remote is remembered when a session is recorded, and you can record up to 90 minutes of action. Getting into the record mode is easy. Just access the record playback feature and use the remote's record button to memorize everything the remote does during the session. When you are finished recording your operations, you use the remote to stop the recording session and then play it back. This feature is a lot of fun, and unlike other command control systems currently on the market, it doesn't require any additional components. It's all built right into the TIU, ready for you to use. One of the great myths about command control is that command systems only work with the same manufacturer's locomotives. In fact, nothing could be further from the truth. DCS controls any locomotive regardless of manufacturer in conventional mode and can control any locomotive equipped with Lionel's Trainmaster command control system in command mode. Let's first focus on DCS compatibility with Lionel's Trainmaster command control system. While both TMCC and DCS are command control systems, each communicates with locomotives in a different manner. Because DCS is a more advanced command control system, it can communicate with both DCS and TMCC engines. TMCC cannot communicate with PS2 locomotives in command mode. DCS is able to operate TMCC equipped locomotives by relaying the TMCC signal from the DCS remote to the TMCC command base through a special cable. TMCC equipped locomotives can be added into the DCS remote just like you add a ProtoSound 2.0 equipped locomotive. However, because TMCC equipped locomotives do not feature two-way communication, you must give the TMCC locomotive an ID number and name when adding the locomotive. Once the TMCC equipped locomotive has been added to the DCS remote, you can run it with the remote just like you run one of our ProtoSound 2 locomotives. Selecting a TMCC locomotive from the active engine list is the same as selecting a ProtoSound 2.0 locomotive. Once selected, the TMCC locomotive will show in the active engine screen as a TMCC locomotive. Because TMCC locomotives only feature 32 speed steps, a TMCC locomotive will not run at the same speed setting as a ProtoSound 2.0 locomotive. 
Therefore, when switching back and forth between a TMCC locomotive and a ProtoSound 2.0 locomotive, the speed settings will differ. ProtoSound 2.0 locomotives will run at true scale miles per hour, while TMCC locomotives run at a numeric setting that has no relationship to scale speed. All the normal button functions on the DCS remote will control the TMCC functions if those functions are available in that particular TMCC locomotive. You can blow horns, ring bells, and adjust sound volume using the DCS remote. DCS even includes the aux functions of the TMCC system. These are accessed by pushing the soft keys below the LCD screen when a TMCC locomotive is in the active engine screen. Now that we've seen how DCS can operate TMCC engines, let's take a look at how well it controls conventional engines. A conventional layout varies the voltage on the track to control locomotive speed and direction. DCS can operate a conventional layout by giving you the ability to vary the voltage output from the TIU to the track. You do this by connecting your transformer to a variable input channel of the TIU and then hooking the variable output channel to the track. Once you are set up for conventional mode operation using the variable channels, when power is applied to the TIU, the track lock-on stays dark. This shows that no power is passing through the TIU to the track. By accessing the appropriate variable channel with the TR button on the DCS remote, you can use the thumb wheel to control the voltage on the track. See how the lock-on and the conventional engine starts up as power to the track is added on the DCS remote? But what about the ProtoSound 2.0 locomotive? Why hasn't it done anything even though power is on the track? The TIU adds the DCS command signal to the variable outputs too, so the ProtoSound 2.0 locomotive automatically knows it is in command mode. It won't do anything until you tell it to. The difference in normal command operations using a fixed channel versus a variable channel of the TIU is that you can run your ProtoSound 2.0 locomotive in command mode and run a conventional locomotive on the same track at the same time. You can vary the track voltage and run the conventional engine. Once the engine is started up, you can follow the conventional engine out around the layout. As long as you stay in the active engine screen, you can control the ProtoSound 2.0 engine through all of its normal command operation. ProtoSound 2.0 engines are the only command control equipped locomotives that almost don't care how much voltage is on the track when running in command mode. This is why you can control both conventional and ProtoSound 2.0 locomotives independently on the same track at the same time. Adding the Accessory Interface Unit, or AIU, gives you the ability to control any accessory from any manufacturer. With this one device, up to 20 accessories can be controlled with DCS. Unlike other command control systems, this single additional component is all that is needed to enjoy all the benefits of DCS. You can control switches with the touch of a DCS button. Activate operating track sections to run an operating car like this dump. Use the DCS remote to turn on and off your building lights or activate a gas station or operating water tank. Any accessory that can be controlled by a switch can be connected to the AIU. Each TIU can control as many as five AIUs. And you can have as many as five TIUs. That means you can control as many as 25 AIUs or 500 accessories. Our simple three-piece design makes DCS a great value when compared to other command control systems like Lionel's TMCC Trainmaster control system. In fact, it takes all of these TMCC components to do the job of just three DCS components. With such a simple system and all of these features, it's no wonder that DCS is the fastest selling command control system on the market today. It's simple, it's easy, and best of all, it's fun. If you're watching this video on a DVD, you can learn more about DCS's specific features and how they operate by viewing the DCS intro video. Better yet, you might want to pick up a copy of O-Gage Railroading Magazine's video guide to the MTH Digital Command System. It's a great resource for learning about and using DCS. You'll find it at any MTH authorized retailer or directly at www.mthtrains.com.
By now, you've probably begun to discover that MTH is a great place to begin your model railroading journey. But MTH is more than just great locomotives and an incredible command control system. Over the years, we've produced hundreds of different freight cars and passenger car models. Each is constructed for years of use and feature all metal trucks, operating metal couplers, and all metal wheels and axles. MTH passenger cars feature overhead lighting and car interior details at prices unmatched by other manufacturers. Over the years, MTH has been committed to producing operating cars that look and function realistically. Each car's mechanism is quiet and smooth. You won't find jerky movement and buzzing solenoids in MTH operating cars. MTH produces just about everything a model railroader will ever need. Your local MTH authorized retailer can show you the dozens of different trackside accessories, each designed for realistic operation. Of course, every layout must have buildings and houses to complete the illusion. MTH has you covered with an incredible line of Rail King buildings. Pre-assembled and pre-painted, every Rail King building is ready to go right out of the box. Almost all feature interior lighting, which is a snap to hook up. With dozens of houses and building models, your empire's rural to urban needs are covered. You could build your entire model railroad empire with our Rail King buildings. Many buildings also feature operation and special sounds. Hey, Junior McDonald, may I help you? Yes, I would like to have a Big Mac, fries, and a cola. Like MTH operating cars, our operating buildings feature realistic movements for an incredibly authentic experience. Operation is easy, and hookup takes just a few minutes. Like all MTH products, our O-Gauge buildings and accessories are right at home with any O-Gauge freight car, locomotive, or track system. They can be used with any transformer and are designed to last a lifetime. Well, there you have it. A quick tour of Model Railroading's most innovative product line from MTH Electric Trains. Model trains provide the wholesome fun of a hobby the whole family can enjoy. Stop in and see your local MTH authorized retailer for an up close and personal tour of these great products and start your model railroading journey. I've had command control in, in O-Gauge trains since 1995 when Lionel brought out Trainmaster Command Control. I've been using it since then. With DCS, I was able to plug my TIU into my Lionel command base and use my DCS remote to control my Lionel command train. I find that the uh, MTH uh, system is, uh, has been, in my hands, superior. Uh, the control of the, the fine control of the locomotives seems better to me. And what I really like, which I think is a, a tremendous advantage, at least from my perspective, is the handheld remote. I really enjoy the, dis the digital display so you know what you're doing. And most of the functions can be operated with one hand, and I really find that convenient. The PS2 engine is going to run glass smooth, again, on any power pack, on any track system. As smooth and as slow as you can get that engine to go, it's going to go. I have my PS2 locomotive starting up at a scale one, two miles per hour in conventional mode.